How's it going everybody? Ed Ricker here. And how calibrated are your colors? And the reason I ask is because when I first started video editing years ago and photo editing, I just thought that the factory calibration of my computer monitor was enough. Well, it turns out that's not always the case. Um, if you go into any tech store, you see the big line of televisions and the big line of computers and everyone looks a little bit different. Uh, the, the yellows might be a little bit different from model to model. Some are brighter, some are dimmer. So between computer screen to computer screen, factory calibration doesn't really mean a whole lot. And there is a set color standard that if you want to get serious about making sure your colors look right, you've got to find it. And uh, a calibration tool like the Data Color Spider X Elite will help you out. It's important if you're editing a video project and you want to make sure that the colors that you see on your computer are the same that the other person sees. And especially if you're a photographer and you want to make professional prints, you want to make sure that the prints you get back from the print shop look like what you saw on your computer screen. So there's a, a, a lot of professional application to this, but also, I mean, even amateur application. Now I've been using Spider products for a while. I was using the Spider 5 Express for years, uh, but Datacolor finally came out with a new Spider X line, the Pro and what I have here, the Elite. And the Elite is their flagship model. Now the Spider X line is different from the 5 in that the Spider X has a lens-based sensing system and it also senses and, and calibrates the colors much, much faster than the five line, which is great. Um, they also say that it's more accurate. I can't really say for sure if that's the case, but we'll trust them on that for now. Now, before I bought my main computer monitor, the LG 43UD79B, I had a dual monitor setup with two different brands and two different sizes and two different types of monitors. It would have been so nice to have the Spider X because what they can do with the Spider X is, a uh, studio uh, calibration. So if you have two different monitors, you can calibrate them both to look the same, as opposed to trying to dive into the monitor settings uh, manually and just dialing in contrast and, and different colors and stuff. That's really a pain in the neck and I never got it perfect. Here's the unit right here with the USB cable. And uh, right here, this dot is a, a ambient light sensor. So it's gonna sense how bright the room is that we're in. Uh, and then we open it up and there's the lens-based system right there. And then this end is pretty much just a counterweight. Let's undo the USB cable. And how you operate this is you take the counterweight and pull. And you just kind of elongate the, the cable, the, the length of cable between the counterweight and the actual sensing device. And then it hangs on your computer monitor or on your laptop or whichever other type of monitor you want to calibrate um, that can install the software, uh, just like this. And by the way, there is some software that you need to download for this, and there's instructions in the box for how to do that, how to use your data color serial number to register and everything like that. Now my computer itself is actually pretty far away from the computer screen, so I've got to use a little bit of a USB extender because they do suggest that if you plug this in and you, you go through the calibration, you don't use a USB hub. They really suggest that you use a USB port that's on your computer. So we already plugged it in. We've separated the counterweight from the imaging device and we're going to just drape this thing on either side of our computer screen. I have my computer screen turned off so it's easy for you to see. Also a trick for lay, making this lay flat is to tilt your monitor if it can. And that's just going to ensure that your spider is going to be nice and flat and flush against the surface of your monitor. You don't want any light leaking or anything like that. Uh, I did turn off my monitor just to demonstrate that so it's easy to see, but make sure that your monitor has been on for about 30 minutes. Your monitor has to be warmed up per se uh, to be able to do this. Also, uh, we're gonna see in just a little bit, it's going to also suggest that no hard light is hitting your screen. I have a video light up here. I don't think that's enough to really throw it off, but sunlight for sure. If any sunlight is hitting your computer screen, block it before we go to actually calibrating this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Spider X Elite software here. Now this is the easy calibration wizard. It's giving us some of these uh, suggestions here. Have you warmed up your display for half an hour? Yes. Uh, lighting conditions, no intense light. Um, I may turn off my video light just for this. Next up, have you reset your monitor settings? So I'm gonna go into my uh, settings here. And in my picture settings, I'm going to go ahead and picture reset. And 
and we've already plugged in the spider, so we don't have to do that. It says not to a hub or, or a keyboard. We've already gotten that taken care of. Choose the type of display you are calibrating, desktop, laptop, or projector. And so yes, the, the new Spider X line can actually calibrate projectors. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna select my desktop manufacturer, which I've already done. Enter display model, yep. And indicate which controls your desktop display offers. I do not have Kelvin presets, I only have brightness. Now it's asking us about what type of backlight I have. I did a little research and I'm pretty sure I'm wide LED. Now here's where we have the option to do a step-by-step -step assistant, which we will be doing today. Studio match, where you can match all of your studio displays as closely as possible. Um, an expert console, if you really know what you're, what you're doing. I'm gonna go with step-by-step -step assistant. Now it says to use the new rooms light switching feature, click the advanced settings button. On the advanced settings screen, set the room light option pop-up to room light switching automatic. All right, so I'm gonna hit don't show that again, but I'm gonna check that out. Advanced settings. Yes, automatic, perfect. Go, go back to basic settings, full calibration, and we're gonna go through these recommended uh, brightness, white point, and gamma. Uh, brightness is 120, so let's try that. So it says place spider here. We're gonna go ahead and inch it on over, just like that. And it's just gonna go back and forth through all the colors and measure some brightness and we're just going to uh, let it finish. Okay, so we actually have to lower in accordance with the brightness that it suggests for this, um, this uh, ambient lighting that we have here. It's asking us to bring down the brightness control until the current value is within 4% of the target value. So I'm gonna go into my brightness settings here, menu, and I'm going to inch it down just a little bit and then update on the calibration here. Okay, I'm gonna bring my brightness down a, a good bit. Let's go to 70, update. And a little bit further down, let's go to 60 and update. And one more, 59. Okay, so my target is 180. My current uh, value is 181. That is definitely within 4% of the target value. So now we can continue. So that was basically a manual adjustment that we made directly in the monitor itself. Uh, and then it's just taking care of these other colors with software utilization. Nice! All right, it's finished. And that took about two, two and a half minutes plus uh, the brightness adjustment that I went through. So now I'm gonna move this aside and it gives us um, a calibrated view as well as an uncalibrated view. So you can see uncalibrated, my computer screen was much more blue. It had a very much more um, cool color temperature that we were working with. Switching back to the calibrated brings out a much more warm and actually a bit of a darker uh, display, which may actually take a little bit of time to get used to if you're not used to it, but you'll see eventually that the way that things are being viewed here is a good ca calibrated standard for brightness and contrast and uh, colors in general. In the profile overview, we can see how our monitor is comparing to sRGB and TSC, uh, Adobe RGB, P3, and uh, basically all these color gamuts to see just how much of each my monitor is able to display. And there we go, we are calibrated. There's one more step, however, and this is a step that just we kind of do for the rest of the time we want to use a spider and want to have a calibrated screen, is we're going to take off the device. Now it's still plugged in, but we're going to close it up just like that. And what I'm going to do is screw on a little cheap, you know, video or camera tripod. Something that's going to fit on the desk. And this little ambient light sensor right here is just going to measure our, uh, our ambient light of the room. And with it right there, it's going to just take readings about every five or ten minutes. And you might see my computer screen flicker, you know, brighter or dimmer, depending on what I do. I'm going to turn on my light again just to close out this video. And that is it. Color calibrated, brightness calibrated monitor that I'm going to have confidence using for photos 
and videos and graphic design in a professional environment. Thank you to Data Color for sending me the Spider X Elite. Keep in mind though that there is also the Spider X Pro and there are other Spider models as well, um, but I'm going to be definitely having the Spider X Elite on my desk uh, for, I don't know, indefinitely. It's, it's a great investment, I think. Also, check my kit.com slash edrickervlogs page where you can see my entire computer build and what I use for video editing. Right after this video, I'm gonna color calibrate my laptop as well so I can make sure that these sync up perfectly if I have to do some editing on the road. I know I can bring it home and it's gonna look just the same on my computer here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video on my color calibrated monitor. Take care.